We're here with Beeple Sinha from Lightspeed Venture Partners. There's a lot of uh, interest in enterprise technology right now. Can you talk about why there's so much disruption and change happening in, uh, in these companies? Two big mega trends, as I call them, is going on. One is flash. The other one is, is virtualization. So essentially, VMware uh, created this earthquake, if I can call it, by introducing virtualization and an ability to pack multiple virtual machines on a single physical machine. Combine that with a storage media change, which is a new thing called flash mm -hmm. uh, of high speed, um, like writes to, to the disk, is, is really changing the landscape. New systems have to be built ground up to leverage flash capacity, and that's where all the innovation is happening. I wanted to ask you about um, working with startups. What do you do with enterprise startups, and what's the key to kind of getting them off the ground? Enterprise startups have high product risk and relatively lower market risk, and and that's what we love as as venture capitalists because. Uh, the, the high product risk is, is, is somewhat, you can mitigate that by, by helping companies hire the right talent, getting them exposed to early customers, design partners, so that they can learn from the market, iterate on the product, and really build a complex product with high IP that has a moat of one to two years. Can you talk about some of the changes in how enterprise products and companies are being built? A lot of consumer product and uh, consumer marketing and, and consumer, I would say, thinking has really gone into enterprise products. So a lot of my enterprise infrastructure companies are thinking about user interfaces and dashboards just like consumer companies because people who operate uh, these systems, they use Facebook or, or LinkedIn and they have expectation from a, an interface uh, which is like self-service, intuitive, that they can, they can feel good about. And the second thing that we have seen is that company is becoming more analytical in terms of their marketing and, and, and sales operations. So they are looking at uh, uh, like Twitter, f uh, Facebook, and these kind of channels to engage with their early customers. And then they are also uh, adopting some of the, of the consumer number-driven approach to uh, distribution in terms of how they hire salespeople, how they enable channel, how do they how do they do demand generation. The whole world is moving towards performance marketing. The internet has collapsed the value chain, and companies have an opportunity to find their customers in a more direct manner.